Lesson 5.3b, Finding Simple Interest. When we deposit money in a savings account, our money usually earns interest. When we borrow money from the bank, we must pay back the original amount of the loan plus interest. Interest is a percentage earned for savings or a percentage charged for borrowing money. The amount we borrow or deposit with a bank is called the principal. Simple interest is a fixed percentage of the principal. If we borrow $1,000, the principal of the loan is $1,000. If the simple interest that we're being charged is 5%, we can multiply the $1,000 principal by the interest written as a decimal, 0.05 for 5%, and we have $1,050 to pay back for the loan. The bank charges us $50 to borrow $1,000. If we open a bank account, a savings account, and deposit $1,000, then our principal deposit is $1,000. If the bank is going to pay us 2% simple interest for having that money in their bank, we can multiply the $1,000 principal times 2% written as a decimal and we get $1,020 in our account. The bank gives us $20 for saving $1,000. Sam deposits $500 into a bank account that earns 2% simple interest per year. If he doesn't deposit or withdraw from his account, how much will be in his account, the balance, after two years? First thing we do is find the amount of interest earned in one year. The principal amount is $500. That's how much he put in. We write the interest as a decimal and multiply it to the principal to get the interest for one year, $10. For two years, we multiply that $10 times two. We get $20 interest for two years. We add the two years of interest, that $20, to the principal amount. We get $520 balance after two years. We can write this in one equation by putting brackets around 500 multiplied by 2% written as a decimal multiplied by the two years. So we would do inside this bracket first, then add the original $500 principal. The reason I used brackets is because I was already using parentheses to show multiplication, and this is a little easier on the eyes using brackets. We do inside of them first, according to the order of operations. We can write an equation relating the total amount A in Sam's account to the number of years, T. A is equal to that principal $500 plus 2T for two years. Now, this is not a proportional relationship. In order to be proportional, the graphed line must go through the origin at 0, 0. Since Sam starts with an initial $500 amount, the amount doesn't start at 0. So having the amount of money in his bank account and the number of years is not a proportional relationship. The simple interest is a proportional relationship because it's graphed as a straight line going through the origin. So instead of having the total amount in his bank account, if we just wrote the amount of interest he would earn each year, that is a proportional relationship. Dave borrows $15,000 on a four-year loan to buy a car. He is charged 8% simple interest per year. How much interest is he charged for four years? What is the total amount he needs to pay back? We take the principal, the $15,000, and we multiply it by the interest written as a decimal. We do 15,000 times 0 0.08 and get $1,200 for one year. Now, because we need to find four years, we multiply this $1,200 times 4 for the 4 years, we get $4,800 for those 4 years. Now we add the original principal amount of the car, $15,000, plus the interest for 4 years, $4,800, and we get $19,800. In order to buy this car for 15000 
Dave is going to have to pay back $19,800. The bank or the lender is charging him $4,800 to borrow the money. No matter how many years the interest is being calculated, the interest rate is multiplied by the principal if the principal amount doesn't change. Then we just multiply that interest amount for the year times the number of years. Commission is a percentage of the selling price that is earned from the sale of the item. Commission and interest problems have some similarities. So Bob earns a salary of $3,000 per month selling furniture, plus a 4 and 75 hundredths percent commission. Calculate Bob's total earnings in a month when his sales total $21,800. So this $21,800 is how much he sold in furniture. His commission is 4 and 75 hundredths percent of that. So notice there's a decimal point here. Four and 75 hundredths is not quite 5% commission. It's almost a 5% commission. We need to write this as a decimal and multiply it to the amount he sold. Four and 75 hundredths percent written as a decimal is 0 0.0475. We multiply them together and get $1,039.70. Now, we add his $3,000 per month salary to that amount of commission, and we know that Bob earned $4,039.70 for the month. Now, if this confused you, I'll show you. So keep in mind, to find simple interest on an amount of a loan, we need the simple interest rate, that percentage, and the time in years. So we can convert any percentage to a decimal by removing the percent sign and moving the decimal point two hops to the left. So it's right here. We have five and 23 hundredths percent. We're going to move the decimal point one, two hops to right here, and we're going to have to put a zero as a placeholder. We get 0 0.0523 as a decimal. If we have 74 and 8 tenths percent, we take away this percentage symbol, and we go one, two hops to the left, we know as a decimal it is 0 0.748. When we borrow money from a bank or a lender, they charge us a fee as interest until we pay back the money. When we put money in a bank account or a savings account, the bank pays us a fee as interest as long as we keep the money in the account. We finished this lesson, we're going to move on to the last part of 5.3, using multiple percents. So remember, convert the percentage simple interest rate to a decimal, multiply it to that principal original amount, and you'll get your interest for one year. And also remember to find simple interest on an amount of a loan or a deposit. We need the simple interest rate and the time in years. We need those two things. Have a great day and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.